Hi, I'm Roger Mitter with Ampersand. I want to talk to you about using design and the methods of design thinking in order to create a better customer experience. I often ask my clients to do a little thought experiment. Think about, for example, a favorite vacation. Describe where you went, why it was special, what was the best part, and what was the worst part. These elements we describe as the user experience. User experience, you'll note, is made up of five E's. Mostly when we think about an experience, we're talking about the engagement, how we interact with the product or service that, in this case, relates to the vacation. But there are other elements of this process. For example, what's it like when we enter into this experience, this vacation? Think about it. How did you first step into this new experience that was your vacation? How did you exit it? What was the departure like? And was that a high or a low for you? Then go back even before you chose that vacation. What enticed you there? And lastly, what would cause you to have an extended view of the value of that vacation? Something that would entice you to come back again. Consider this popular vacation destination, one of the Disney properties. And let's run through what the five E's look like in this context. First of all, you might be enticed through any of a wide array of ways that Disney can reach out to you or your children in order to get you engaged. When you choose to attend a Disney vacation, one of the things you're doing is exploring costs and different packages, etc. Finally, you decide you're going to Disneyland and be careful how you notify your children of this because this little girl just heard, oh my goodness, we're going to Disneyland, and this was her reaction. She was so excited she didn't know how to handle it. You're committing to a new experience now and making your getaway. Now you're engaging in the experience. This is what we mostly think of when we think of any one of our customer experiences. It's this central set of activities in the inquiry you do in order to figure out how you're gonna spend your time and the little things that enhance your experience. And when you are exiting or concluding your day, they make that a grand celebration so that even your last memories are cemented into your experience upon departure. And then finally, there's lots of different ways that Disney helps you to recall your experience and remember it favorably and refer others. It's everything from children's toys to movies and films to the hotels themselves. Disney even has a cruise line with, you can see Mickey in the pool there, to keep you engaged in multiple different ways through multiple medias, forms, and experiences. Disney's a remarkable case example of using the five E's to create a holistic experience that brings you back for more. Think of the five E's as representing a particular goal that your user has, not that you have. What's the goal that they are trying to accomplish? Then translate that into the key touch points that you can activate in order to optimize their experience. Think about the exercise that's going on in their brains. What are they experiencing intellectually, emotionally, and what actions are they taking as a result? You're designing to get them to take the actions that are optimal for your business model, but you're doing it to make it the optimal experience for them. As Disney said, do what you do so well that they'll want to come back and bring their friends. So thank you very much. I hope that you find the five E's a useful method for applying design thinking to create a better experience. I'm Roger Mader.